Hello, hello. Hi, mister. How are you? Mr. Marroquin, how are Hi. you? Man, I, I have been in trouble. I couldn't enter Friday and yesterday. Yes, I, 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 I noticed. You noticed, but now I'm here. Good, very and good. I'm back. And, very and good. Also, and also, I call to one of your classmates, your, your parents of the okay. class, and about the homework I had made. I had, I had made, I, I start today, like two, I start today and are difficult. Okay, what section are you in? Let's see, I, I, I start, I start doing homeworks, homeworks, there are a lot of homeworks. Okay, so because, are you in unit two, unit three? Uh, I don't know, I don't know which unit I am, but I really start, but are very difficult, very confusing. Okay, which topic I, are you talking about? Let's see, I'll like, I turn off the computer, because the other computer, right, uh, okay, wait, I want to start again, I want to connect. Yeah. I have, I have that, that, the, the homeworks I have in other computer. Okay. Yes. But are kind of difficult, the, the homeworks. Are, are very, are very uh, gra grammatical, but are very difficult. Okay. Yeah, and especially because the the platform accepts, um, you know, they they have introduced uh, the structure, so that particular structure should be the one that you use. Yeah. And but I want to, I want, I would like to to continue with the next level. In, exactly. In, in. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's why, uh, Mister. Let me see the name. I call. I talk with. I want to tell you a name. Guzman. I want, to, I want to tell you now. I talk with. Let's see. Wait. I, today I talk with. Uh, uh, with Jason. Okay, Jason Bautista. Yeah. Okay. And he and, and he told me that I had to do some 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 homeworks. Exactly. All right. To, to I continue in, in the next level. Exactly. Yeah, it's necessary that everybody finishes the uh, at least eighty percent of all the work in the platform in order for you guys to continue in the next level. So. Yeah, I, I want to continue okay. in the next level. Good, very good. All right, welcome back, everybody. Eduardo, Alma Brisa, Regina, Bersabe, and Noé. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What is today's date? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 24th, 2020, teacher. 24th or 14th? Ah, 14th, sorry, 14th. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're 10 days uh, ahead, right? Yes. yes. Like, yeah, I but don't you know, know, time is going so fast that yeah, October 24th is going to be, it's around the corner. It's just like, yes. Very short. You're right, teacher. Very you're short. Right. Uh, you, you, uh, you, know, so, you know something, mister? Yes, sir. Uh, I said, think to myself that yesterday. I think that. The turkeys and start are starting to to get him fat. Yeah, <laughs> to eat it on the same. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's because, because yeah. It's so fast this year. Yeah, it's it's the the highest part of the year where people buy turkey. Yep. Yeah, but in this You're situation, right. I, don't know, I don't know how it's going to be. Right. Year. Yeah, it, it's uh, things uh, will be different. They will yeah, be different. Hard. How to be different. Exactly. All right. So welcome back. Uh, let's talk about yesterday. Um, do you have any questions or comments about yesterday? No. No, teacher. No? I don't have. No. Okay. So we have different activities for today. We have vocabulary. We have um, grammar and some reading. So let's begin with the first one. Let me see where this is. Hello, Janita. Hello, hey. teachers. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, so when we talk about future events or plans that you have for the future, um, we have different options. So if you wish, you can take a screenshot from what you're seeing right now, or if you prefer, you will use the image that I just sent you to the, to the chat. So we have future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. Uh, yes, teacher. Can somebody explain the differences between those three? When do we use the simple future? When do we use the future continuous? When do we use the future perfect? Anybody? How do you say voy a ir mañana? I'm going to go. I'm going to go tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I will go. You also may say I will go. When you take the decision right now, but it will be in the future. Okay. Okay. Yes. When you make the decision without planning, you say, "Well, I'll go tomorrow." Voy a ir mañana. So you made the decision at the time you're speaking. Good observation. So. How do you say, voy a estar limpiando mi casa? I'm going to be cleaning I, my house tomorrow. I'm going to be cleaning my house. Now, clean. how do you say, el sábado ya habremos terminado? On Saturday, we will have done. We'll have, done. We'll have, we'll have finished. finished. We will have finished. Yes. We will have finished. So remember this, when you're using the simple future, you're talking about um, future, Actually, future in general. Future okay. in general. Now you use the future continuous when you're talking about actions in progress in a particular time in the future. So if I ask you, what plans do you have for Saturday afternoon? You will say, I will be visiting my family. I will be finishing a, a project. Turn off, turn off there. I will be painting my house. So you're talking about actions in progress in a particular time in the future. Yeah, I have a question. Yes, and, sir. And, and you can say I'm going to be or I will. Sure. You, you can use both. You can okay. use both. Yes. Now, okay. with, so once again, future oh, simple, please, please. general future. Future continuous actions in progress in a particular time in the future and future perfect when you say el sábado habré terminado so you use future finished. perfect for finished activities in a particular time in the future so okay. how do you say en seis meses me habré graduado in six uh, months I will be I within will within six months I will have graduated. Yes, I will have graduated. Or I or I will be graduated. That, you could say it, but that is future simple. And that the question was me habré graduado. So the, the, the structure is a little bit different. So if you want to say me habré graduado, you will say I will have graduated. How do you teacher, say? Yes, ask me. Uh, sorry, teacher. In Go future ahead. continuous, uh, the construction is will be plus Jeron. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So how yes. do you say a las once te habré enviado el correo? At 11, At 11 I will have an email. I okay, so you said, I promise you, at 11, I will have sent you uh, the email. Uh, email. Yes. All right. So let me assign you to work in pairs and analyze and discuss the function of each um, tense. So out of room, mm -hmm. and here we go.
they they wrote present participle is not present participle is gerund will be plus gerund you see no i'm reading what i'm reading what he put future continuous people yes. will be living in cities under the ocean correct you yeah. you use what... you use gerund living Okay, you, you don't have so clear where you're going to do that, but you know that, that you will do that. Yes. Knowing a specific time, okay, a specific time, okay. Oh, what about the, the, the future? Hello, Ovidio. Hello. Hi. What do you think about the uses of simple, simple future? If done, and when something is happening in, in the past, I think it's similar with the future. Yes, it's similar. Sarai, you're back. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Yes, um, I'm fine. I have uh, some problems to connect the okay. other days. Okay. But I, I will try to finish the... The platform. platform, yes. Yes, but I, I have a troubles in the midterm. Okay. Um, can I uh, write to you? Write me, yes. Write, write me if you have problems, and and we'll find a solution together. No problem. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. In future too, but here doesn't doesn't uh, appear <laughs> the the I'm going to, uh, the form uh, the form going to is the another uh, another form to use in future. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah, but I think that this this question is you know. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. Um, I'm sorry we are not discussing right now about the future tense, but we, we are discussing about uh, some stuff in the platform. Don't worry. Uh, uh, what what unit are you guys doing in the platform? Let me put my <sighs> camera. There you go. Internet, it's, it's, it's okay right now. So I'm stuck in the part four for number oh. four, two. four uh, I'm, two. I'm not sure what I'm doing. What? 4.2. Yes. Okay, and what yes. is the exercise that you're doing exactly? Um, write questions using the active form of have and get using the information about each space. So I have number one, sew my skirt, number two, cut my hair. And I don't know if I'm doing uh, something wrong or I'm, miss, I'm missing something. Okay, let me check, let me check. Um, Gmail, you said 4.2, right? Yes. Let me check. Mm -hmm. So the instruction is write questions 
using the active form. Right. And the number one is, for example, sew, sew my skirt. And I remember in the part 4.1, and the video shows uh, that we supposed to do that question using first, do you know where instead of just where? In my case, I'm doing, do you know where can I have to sew my skirt? Okay, give me a second. You guys are pre avanzados. Let me open this document um, so I can give you concrete answers. I can show you my. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm not discussing the. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. I mean, anything that you guys do in English is. is you said uh, section four? Yes. Okay, section four, four point two knowledge check. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about can you, can, can you see my screen? Let me see it. Okay, yeah. Okay, cut my hair. Do you know where can I? Okay, do you know where? Okay, let me check. Uh -huh. I, I'm not sure in that in that part if if this part can I, can I get cut my hair or can I get my hair cut because I already tried that I think okay um give me a second okay Julio I will assign Julio here no. Now, where is, um, where is that document that I had? Okay, uh, 4.2. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, the, the platform gives you mistakes, even though your, your answer might be good. So maybe because you're missing a, a period, a question mark. So, um, the answer for number two should be, do you know where I can get my, where I can get someone cut my hair? Is that what you have? No. Where can I get someone I'm missing? Do here. you know where I can get someone cut my hair? Cut. I never. Or if oh, you wish, dude. if you wish, send me a screenshot of which section you're having problems with, and mm -hmm. and 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 um, I'll see what you're doing wrong, and and I'll make the corrections. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, but but send it, send it, please. To the. To my to my number, or... my number. No, to my number. Yeah, and, and okay. I will I will tell you guys uh, if if you guys need help, you know, like to to um, to ask questions. So we got a couple of more minutes. B, writing sentence. Writing sentences, but this is a meter or the section read answer. What what part is this? Uh, writing is sentence? Writing the mi sentence. middle term. Oh, the middle term. Letter D. Letter D. Which which questions are you doing exactly? Letter D. Okay, letter D. Ah, okay. You you need. The, I I need to write the complete sentence. No, o, o, only the second only part. Only the second part. Yes, for, for example, to walk in this part, the number one, uh, the best ways to avoid cancer are to walk, yes, every day and eat fresh vegetable. 
try try with these sentences. Okay, but no ed. No ed. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll go back to the main session right now, and I will tell you something related with the platform. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, welcome back. Um, when do we use the future continuous? Remember, we have 12 tenses in English. Every tense has a different structure and every tense has a different function. So we said that the future continuous, I will be eating, I will be cleaning, they will be fixing my car. What is the function of the future continuous? When you have an action in progress. Exactly. When you have an action in progress in, in the, future. the future. In the future. In the future. In the future. Yes. So what plans do you have for Saturday morning? Oh, I will be visiting my family. I will be attending a meeting. I will be driving to Sonsonate, for example. So you're talking about actions in progress in the future. That particular tense is easy to use. Will be mm -hmm. in the ing form of the verb. Yes, you're okay. right. Okay. Yeah. Now, the future perfect, we're not talking about actions in progress. We're talking about finished activities. Finish, finish. So you finish say, activity. el sábado habremos terminado este curso. So on Saturday, we will have finished this course. En un año habré pagado mi casa. How do you say that? In one, one year, year I, I will have work. paid my house. In one In year, one. I will have finished to pay, pay my, house. my pay. So remember, the structure is will plus have, and the form of the verb is past participle. Past participle. Uh huh. In the, in the future. And then we have the. Uh, the simple future to talk about the future in general. So, you know, the three, honestly, the three are easy to assimilate. You just need to practice. You just need to practice. Now, the only challenge that I see when you guys are using the future perfect is to know the past participle form of the verb. Yes, you're right. Okay. How do you say nadar? Swim. 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 What is swim. the past tense of swim? Swim. 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 Swim is the past participle. So imagine you're at the swim. you're at the swimming pool and you say, a la dos de la tarde habré nadado tres horas. How do you say that in English? At two p.m. I will have so good three hours. So you look at your watch, you say, Man, at 2 p.m., I will have swum three hours. Habré nadado tres horas. So once again, you use the future perfect to talk about finished, finished activities, activities in the future. In the future, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Questions or comments before we go to the practice part? No. No? Clear. Clear All teacher. All right. Let me look for this document. Where is this document? It's right here. So remember, you're talking about activities in the future in three different scenarios. Simple future, general, future continuous, an action in progress, future perfect, uh, Finished activities, finished activities. So what is the negative of will? Won't, won't, won't. 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 will not. Okay. Won't. won't. How do you say barrer in English? Sweep, sweep, 
Sweep. Sweep. Mm -hmm. So how do you say, yo no voy a estar barriendo? I won't be. I won't be. I won't be. I won't be sweeping. I won't be sweeping. How do you say, quien va a estar trapeando? Who will be sweeping? Who will be sweeping? Who will be sweeping? Trapeando. How do you say trapear in English? Mopping. 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 Exactly. Mopping. Yes. So how do you say, quien va a estar trapeando? Who will be mopping? Who will, who will, will be, be mopping? mopping? Exactly. Exactly. Who will be mopping? Very good. So I will assign you once again to work in pairs mm -hmm. and you guys will do this exercise with the future continuous. Uh, can you see the, the image? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so take a screenshot or you want or use the one that I'm sending to the WhatsApp chat. Recreate, recreate and <laughs> and the rest is good. All right. Remember, when you're working in pairs, try to speak faster than usual. You need to accelerate your fluency. Be working you, tonight. Will you? Yeah, it, it's a Will question, you, so you need to include the uh, the personal pronoun. Will you be? Will, will you be working tonight? Uh huh. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's a question. Mm -hmm. okay. Hello, hello. Okay, now I'm going to. I want to say like number Hello. three. Okay, here. Okay, Miss Mister, here. Okay, 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 can I say this? You will be working tonight. Is, is it a question or positive or negative? It's a question. You will okay. be working tonight? Exactly. Will you be working it's tonight? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, all, it's all right. Isn't it? Yeah, that, that is all right. Yes. Ah, okay. Will you be working tonight? Or, or, you, or you can say, you will be working tonight. If it's positive, yeah, it's it. You can say you will be working tonight. Yeah. Usted va a estar trabajando hoy, but yeah. it's a positive sentence. Yep. Yeah, but you, yes, you, it's possible. You, you, yeah. Okay. Right. Yes, we'll be flying to Italy. Okay. I just trying to put inside my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith will be flying to Italy soon. Okay. Okay. Mm. The song will. The sunset. The sunset. Oh, no, 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 no. The song will be setting at seven o'clock. The song will be setting at seven o'clock. Yes. What is the opposite of sunset? Uh, sunrise. Sunrise. Good. Very good. What is better, the sunset or the sunrise? Both are good. <laughs> I prefer yeah. the sunset. Yeah, because if you want to see the sunrise, that means you have to wake up earlier. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And if you compare the sunrise with the sunset, they are pretty similar, but, you know, at different times of the day. Different times. Maybe you can enjoy better. Right. The sunset. Yeah, with a couple of drinks. Exactly. Watching yeah. the... Soft drinks. <laughs> Soft drinks, of yes. course. Cold <laughs> drinks. <laughs> <laughs> We will be 
watching TV tonight. Watching TV tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Which, yeah, it's, we will be watching TV tonight, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Smith fly to Italy soon. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith mm -hmm. will be flying mm -hmm. to Italy soon. Good. Sorry? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, it's fast. Okay. Hello, okay. hello. Which one are you doing? Uh, we 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 are beginning now. Okay. We we, we were uh, talking about some topics. <laughs> don't worry. If it's in English, I don't mind. <laughs> no. Yes. It, it yeah. Has Good, very good. In English. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Uh-huh. Then we, number, number six. Eight. Will, will, will you sleep? Uh-huh, will you sleep? Okay, but remember we're doing future continuous. Vas a estar Just durmiendo? Just future continuous. Ah. Yes. Will you have uh -uh. future continuous? Will you sleep? <laughs> sleep? Will you be sleeping? Will you be sleeping? Will you be yes. sleeping? Yes, I will. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Will we be eating soon? Yes, we will. Yes, we will eating. Mm -hmm. We will be eating. We will be eating, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh -oh. okay. Where where you stay? Where? Okay, where are the others? Let's see. They're coming back in half a minute. Okay. All right. Um, any questions or comments about that exercise? 
remember, when you're using the future continuous, it is mandatory that you always, always use will be cooking, will be helping, will be cleaning, will be taking a shower. Because that's the standard structure that we use when we're talking about a, a, a future continuous. Okay, any questions or comments? No. No? No questions. All right, so let's, um, where is, it's right here. Okay, can you see the, oh, before I forget, um, uh, some of you haven't finished the platform yet. If you're yeah. having if you're having issues with a particular section or whatever, send me um, a, a screenshot of the section where you are having problems, and I will double check to make sure. Uh, and, and see what is the problem with your exercises. Remember, INSAFOR will decide if you continue with the next level or not based on the work that you guys do in the platform. Remember, you need to finish 80% of all the exercises in it. So try to, to do what they're uh, asking you to do. All right. So and, 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 and I have until tomorrow, isn't it? What is it? I have until tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, is, the, is the last day. Uh, we finish the classes tomorrow, but you have an extra day, which is Friday, okay. to finish your your all your exercises. Oh, okay. So remember, um, we will not have class on Friday. I'm no, sorry. we don't have classes on Friday. <laughs> tomorrow is our last day, so. Um, try to finish uh, the 80% of the platform they're asking for. So you guys don't miss your, uh, your chance of going to the next level or, or leave your name clear if you're thinking about pausing or something. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, all right, let me see this here. Okay, so here they're asking just they're they're asking you guys to either use the simple future future continuous or future perfect when you're doing this section in particular keep in mind that in some cases two options two different options are possible so let me all right the first one in 10 years flights from new york to tokyo what we will we'll take. take. We'll take less than two hours, or we'll be taking less than two hours, right? We'll be right. taking. Yes. Yeah, or we'll, we'll take. take. Yes. We'll take. It's better. Okay. We will take. All right. We'll take. Number two. Soon. Uh huh. Okay. We'll be selling. selling. They will be selling? We'll sell. They will be selling. Okay, all right. Number three. Yeah. We, we, have we have discovery. Okay, by the middle of the 21st century, scientists will have discovered. Will have discovered. Have discovered. 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 Past participle. Exactly, past participle. Past participle. We have, we have discovered. Yes. Number four, sometime in the future, scientists will invent. Will invent. Okay. Number five, within 50 years, people will be living. Will be living. Or will have lived. It's possible. Will have lived. Uh -huh. Or will live. Or will live. Right. Like I said, in some cases, you can use more than one option. And number six, in less than a century, Global warming, warming. will we'll have, have melt. We'll have melt. Melt. We'll have melt. melt. Okay. What is the past tense of melt? Melt. Melt. Melted. 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 So remember, we have, when you're using regulars, ED is pronounced in three different forms. So you say fixed with a T sound. You fixed. have cleaned with a T sound. 
and then you have uh, like melted, wanted, it, needed. It, so you pronounce the ed exactly melted. the same way that you write it. So remember, if the word finishes with t or a d, you pronounce the ed exactly the same way you write it. So well, global warming will have melted. 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 Yes. Melted. All right. Any questions about this particular exercise? No. 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 It's, it's clear, teacher. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, let's go to the last activity for today. That is um, 5.9 and it was a reading activity. Hold on, document it's opening. Give me a second. Huh. Okay. Um, do you see the document? No, sir, no. No, 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 no teacher. I'm still watching the platform. Watching the platform. Okay. Give me a Can you see it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so for this one in particular, I need you to take a screenshot because if I take it, um, if I send you an image, it's going to be difficult for you to read it. Blurry. Okay, what, what, is, what is the name of the article? The Global, the village. global, the global village. village. The Global Village. When you say the global village, what are they making reference to? The whole world. Exactly. Planet Earth. Planet Earth, the whole world. Yes. Okay. So I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Let me, me maximize it. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Scan the article. Uh -huh. what, what does the term global village mean? Okay. More and more often, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people in most village. villages. Every, most villages? villages uh -huh. In most villages. Everyone knows everyone else and the people face the same kind of problems. So how can the world be a pill village? Village. When, village, when it is home, to more than six billion people. Political and technological change in changes in the percent change changes in the changing mm -hmm. uh -huh. changes in the past mm -hmm. century have made the global village possible. Very good, thank you. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? Sure. No. Uh, technological is is the pronunciation. Yeah, Techno te technological. 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 Yes. Technological. Right. And remember, um, how do you pronounce this word? Often. Or often. Okay. Often. Okay. Often. Okay. often. Okay. If if you compare a uh, British pronunciation with American. Uh, the British, they will say often, often, but in the United States, people omit the sound T, the, the letter T, and they say often. Mm -hmm. Often. F mm -hmm. often, yes. And the pronunciation, the word ah. village or village? No, village. 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 Yes, village. village. Like village. village people. You remember village people? Village people. 
Okay. Is okay. In the Navy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Any questions what? about the first paragraph? Delicious. Delicious. No. All, all right. Mm -hmm. So let's continue. Another volunteer to read the second paragraph, please. I can read it. Okay, please. Political changes. Go ahead. The political changes. The years following World War II seem to promise peace. In fact, in 1945, the United, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. However, this promise was soon broken by the Cold War disturbs and tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. These two superpowers engage in an arms race, spending huge amounts of money on weapons. The other nations of the world were divided into two sides, and the world was frozen in a state of hostility. Very good, thank you. Any questions about the paragraph Regina just read? Okay. Um, What's pronunciation? How dis disputes? Disputes. Uh, disputes. Disputes. The countries resolve disputes. Yes. Disputes. Do you guys remember the Cold War? Yes, teacher. Guerra what, Fria. Yeah, what countries were mainly involved in the Cold War? United, United States Russia? in Soviet yeah. Union. Soviet yep. Union. Yeah, exactly. Very good. All right, let's continue with the reading. I need another yeah. volunteer. The cold war. Me. Okay, go ahead, Janita. Um, what is the 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 cold war? The cold war finally cold war. ended, and the political climate changes between nineteen eighty nine. In 1991, when the governments of the Soviet Union and several Eastern European countries collapsed, the end of Cold War tension made the global village more political, possible by opening new channels of communication between nations. Thank you. Climate. This word is pronounced climate. Climate. Yes. Climate. Climate, yes. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Collapsed. 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 With Collapsed. a T sound Collapsed. at the end. Collapsed. Collapsed. Yes, collapsed. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions or comments? No, teacher. No. Okay, so let's go and read. It's a little bit long. So whoever reads this part will stop right here where it says ways. Volunteer, please. Ways. Technological okay, well, changes. I, I want to... Go ahead, Eduardo. Okay. Te okay. Technological changes. Technologically, the greatest contributor, contributor. of the global village contributor. 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 The global village is contributor to the global village is the microchip, an electronic circuit on a tin ship has made modern satellites, satellites and supercomputers possible. Those, these forms of high-tech communications allow news and ideas to travel quickly across the globe, making, making people more aware of the neighbors around the world in dramatic new ways. All right, very good, thank you. Any questions there? No. no. Everything is clear? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I need another volunteer to read the remaining part through the internet. I will read. Please. Okay. Throughout the internet, we can get information from computers and carry on electronic conversations with people everywhere. Through television programs transmitted by satellite, we are exposed, exposed to many cultures. Okay, satellite. 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 
Yes. Satellite. So satellite. through television programs transmitted by satellite. Satellite. By satellite. Okay. Yeah, satellite. Post satellites. Okay. Any questions or comments? Observe. No. Okay. And here we go with the last small portion. Anybody? Development. The development. The development of the global village will almost certainly continue into the future. Not only is this probable, but the challenges that the world faces, for example, conflict among people, pollution, and population growth will make it necessary. Very good, thank you. All right, any questions about this article? Mm -hmm. oh. Questions or comments? Okay, so this is the only the only question or comment that I have is how the technology is changing the world. Definitely, exactly, <laughs> it's making a big impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's making a big impact. Now imagine this pandemic twenty or twenty five years ago. Mm -hmm the situation would have been more and more serious if yeah. we would have had the technology that, you know, if we didn't have the technology that we have now, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, oh, but, but, but as well, the, 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 the new things, the technology, the technology, the, the new technology also affect the, affect the 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 the, the, the how can I tell you the technology also affect the the mind of the people right right it gets people sick yes yeah, as, well, as well yeah all right yes. okay so you guys have five minutes to summarize and talk about this article so Let's do this here. Mm -hmm. So summarize the article and share your opinion. That was fast. Yes. All right. Um, any questions or comments about the reading you guys were discussing? No. Okay. 
So once again, thank you very much for making the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Don't okay, be thank upset. You. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.